Good afternoon, again, Commissioners. Uh, my name is Russell Walters. I'm the President of Northern Outdoors in the Forks, and I appreciate the opportunity to express my opinions regarding the proposed NECEC corridor. CMP's NECEC is a complex and emotional project, as you clearly know. Unfortunately, as it relates to recreation, it's being positioned by its opponents as a zero-sum game, either the corridor or recreation. As a recreation business owner in Northern Somerset County, I feel the project offers a number of benefits to our business and the region as a whole. And I think the opportunity exists to have the corridor, recreation, and an improved economy all coexist together. Northern Outdoors has enjoyed a relationship with CMP spanning over 40 years. In the early 80s, CMP was instrumental in working with the whitewater rafting community to provide guaranteed flows on the Kennebec River. These guaranteed flows are the basis of our business today. Over the years, CMP has been supportive in allowing us to develop recreation trails on their land, the snowmobile, ATV, hiking and biking, not least of which is, the recent cooperation, is their recent cooperation on the Forks Area Senior Trail Project up in the Forks. Rafting has provided the primary economic driver in the Forks region since the early 80s. Commercial rafting peaked in 2000 when outfitters carried over 90,000 guests on Maine's rivers. By 2017, that number has decreased by 45% to 50,000 guests. Passenger totals on the Kennebec and Dead Rivers peaked at 70,000 in 2000, decreasing to 38,500 guests in 2017. I recognize that many of the leaders of the No Corridor originate from the rafting community. Some are staff at Northern Outdoors. What we have to realize is that we were the lucky ones. Those of us that came to the Forks in the late 80s and 90s, during the heyday of rafting, we all witnessed something special. But since then, there's been a steady decline in rafting visitor numbers, to the extent that if put into employment terms today, there are approximately 3,000 900 fewer guiding days per year than there were 18 years ago. If we don't work together to develop a plan, the current trend continues, there will be still fewer people able to experience rafting on the Kennebec River, requiring even fewer guides and fewer support staff, such as drivers, reservationists, wait staff, and bartenders. Today's recreationists requires comfortable accommodations and amenities. They require additional activities to make their journey from southern New England or further worthwhile. Marketing to attract guests has become increasingly sophisticated, requiring resources and a thorough understanding of multiple marketing channels. All of this requires investment in staffing, addi additional recreational resources, trails, signage, maintenance, and equipment. <coughs> and in the future, it will require a comprehensive community plan. In 1956, when Harris Station came online, who would have imagined that 30 years later, that resource would provide not just a reliable power supply, but the conditions for a unique and previously unimaginable recreation community in the form of rafting? Now is not the time to look back, but to look forward. And in an era of connectivity and trails, let us imagine what a corridor from Lewiston to the Canadian border might provide. In addition to power, the corridor would provide a permanent thoroughfare for snowmobiles, ATVs. And in the future, who knows, maybe for e-bikes and electric ADVs, ATVs. I know people will scoff at the idea of electric recreation, but understand it's happening and it's a game changer. Today in Europe, a significant portion of bikes that are sold are electric and electric assist allowing an increasing number of cyclists to enjoy biking as a family and multi-generational pastime. With this corridor, Somerset County and Western Maine could be uniquely positioned to secure and develop a network of trails and recreational resources for our citizens and for our visitors. The Forks and Somerset County are at an important crossroads, midway between Carabasset Valley and Greenville, Jackman and Skowhegan, the corridor could provide a conduit for visitors to explore the region, an important backbone to a series of connecting trails <coughs> linking all of Western Maine. Now further imagine two multinational power and distribution companies as partners in this innovative recreational initiative. 
I'll leave you with one last thought. I now provide my full testimony written format. I've heard the criticism the state, any CEC, only benefits Massachusetts. We've heard here today that that's not necessarily true. And frankly, what's wrong with helping Massachusetts and our neighboring states? Massachusetts is important to the economy of this region. Massachusetts is the engine of our tourist economy. 50% of our visitors come from Massachusetts. 80% of our visitors come from New England. And this is the United States, and it would seem to the degree that we can help each other, we should find ways to collaborate with our neighbors, especially as it relates to climate change, energy, and regional economic development. I urge you to seriously consider any CDC and vote in favor of the project and the opportunity it brings to create a vibrant economy in Sunset County. Thank you.